World's End is a district of Chelsea, London, lying at the western end of the King's Road. Once a Victorian slum area, council housing was built here in the 20th century, including the brutalist architecture World's End Estate. History The area takes its name from the public house The World's End, which dates back to at least the 17th century. In the King's Road, near Millman Street, is an inn styled, The World's End. The Old Tavern was a noted house of entertainment in the reign of Charles II. The tea gardens and grounds were extensive, and elegantly fitted up for the reception of company. The house was probably called the World's End", on account of its then considerable distance from London, and the bad and dangerous state of the roads and pathways leading to it. Old and New London, 1878. It is mentioned in Congreve's restoration comedy Love for Love 1695 as a place of questionable reputation to the west of London, on Carey's new and accurate plan of London and Westminster 1795, the inn is shown on the north side of King's Road, the only building in the area. The modern public house, the World's End Distillery, on the south side of King's Road, was built in 1897. The area has long been regarded as the less fashionable end of Chelsea, with Victorian slums being replaced with council housing in the 20th century. The 1960s The fashionable set who had made their home at the other end of the King's Road discovered the gem that was the world's end and found it was the perfect place to open the boutique Granny Takes a Trip. There were several boutiques and hippie shops that clustered round World's End in the late 60s including Gandalf's Garden selling candles, incense, spiritual books and hippie paraphernalia. Sophisticat sold reconditioned pine furniture and was home to Christian the Lion Cub. The sweet shop at 28 Blantyre Street sold silk velvet patchwork and applique cushions, tunics, and wall hanging designed by artist Laura Jameson. The shop was frequented by Twiggy, Jean Shrimpton, and Keith Richards. Just round the corner on the King's Road was the Dragon Tea Garden, a meeting place for local aristocrats, bohemians and hippies who sat on floor cushions, played backgammon and sipped exotic teas. The World's End became a center for the counter-culture world of the 1960s. This continued in the late 70s and 80s with the opening of the boutique sex started by Vivian Westwood in the 1970s, which is now known as World's End. Housing In the 1960s Chelsea Borough Council erected new social housing, in particular the Cremorne Estate named after the historical Cremorne Gardens, which once stood on that site. This was followed, in the 1970s, by the red brick towers of the World's End Estate which swept away many Victorian terraced houses. The estate was designed by Jim Cadbury Brown and Eric Lyons, and is now known for its brutalist architecture. Transport The nearest stations are Imperial Wharf London Overground Fulham Broadway London Underground 